Okay, we have Ladante Wester, Michael Welch. Brian, go ahead. Brian, how the boys are going to go one for each of you? Ladante, obviously, first question is that play. Can you take us through that final play there and just what you saw on the Steelers rolling out? Well, it was a it was a hell of Mary. Um, I was one on one. I just ran down there. Um, I seen him rolling out, and then I seen the ball coming my way. And as as a receiver, your job is to make the quarterback right, whether it's a good ball or a bad ball. And I just made a play on the ball, so it ain't it ain't nothing more, nothing less. Then, Michael, for you, just the first two college touchdowns, and the second one being the game winner in overtime. Um, how good did tonight feel? No, it felt great. Uh, we've been practicing that all since spring ball, and we went out there and executed. Uh, I would like to thank my old lineman, the wide receiver, everybody on the offense, coaches. And that's why it happened. So. Tyler King with the Denver Gazette. For you, uh, Will on the play before had a tip of the deep ball that he almost mm -hmm. came up with. I mean, what was the conversation like after that? How did you guys kind of regroup knowing? You missed the chance but had another two seconds left to get one final playoff. Uh, we had another opportunity, so just next play mentality, and and we we had that and, and we executed our uh, the hell Mary, and then Micah came and, and finished the deal, man. <laughs> Go ahead, Adam. Hey guys, for both of you, just what was the scene like in the locker room? A party, <laughs> a party, <laughs> man. It was a party, man. I I loved it, man. It, it ain't nothing like here, man. Especially after a win, it's nothing. It's nothing like it. Like it's no better other other better feeling than than winning here and coming to the locker room and it's a party. It's literally a party in there. So yeah, it was fun. Okay, go ahead. Lejante, uh, there were just some plays early in the game. You know, you had a few drops and stuff. What was it that allowed you to come back? Who said something to you that allowed you to come back? Uh, my 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 position coach, Coach Phil. Um, he just stay on me, man. He he trusts me. He believes me, and I trust and believe in myself as well. So. I mean, it's football. You're not, you're not going to be perfect. You're going to have mistakes out there. But it's just about next play, man, and, and, and making up for it. As long as you make up for it, everybody's going to forget about those drops. So, For both of you, LeJonte, you're obviously new to Boulder, and Micah, you're new to college football as a whole. I wanted to ask you guys about the crazy scene at the end of the game with all of the fans running around. Was, was that kind of a like a moment of confirmation of you guys? Like, yeah, this is, this is what I came here for. Yeah, for sure. The fans was crazy. I enjoyed that, you know, coming from high school. I never experienced nothing like that, so I loved that. And me being in college for um, for quite a while, um, I was always on the other end of the stick. You know, big school, playing a big school. They rushed the field after they beat us, and we just trying to hurry off and get off the field. But this time, I got to enjoy and actually connect with some of the fans, take pictures. I mean, that's. That was great, man. It was an amazing feeling, man. And it's nothing else like it at all. Well, John, yeah. we talked about how your relationship with Shooter kind of goes back. He was getting recruited, et cetera, mm -hmm. et cetera. What does it feel like to be out there in a moment like that and watch your quarterback be able to make a play like that? Does it instill even more confidence in you? Oh, definitely. I mean, I always have confidence in Shador, man. He. He the reason I came here, you know. He came and got me, and I told him like I'm not gonna let you down. Like I came here for a reason. He brought me here for a reason. So, anytime he throw the ball to me, I gotta make that play. Like that's just that's just my mentality. Cause he didn't bring me here just to, you know, drop the ball or miss assignments. He he brought me here to do what I do. And tonight I did what I did. Micah, oh, sorry, uh, Micah, the run game. I want to talk to you about that tonight. It seemed like you guys were with it early, kind of went away from it, but then kind of came back around at the end of the game. How have you felt like you rushed the ball tonight after trying to build off the 100 yard plus performance last week? Yeah, I feel great. I just want everybody to know we can run the ball and shut up all the haters about it. So that's all I got to say about it. All the way. All the way. Scope of sports. Michael, you told me about some of the hardships that have happened in your life, how it's kind of motivated you to be ready for any opportunity. Now that these opportunities have come up and kind of cash in on, what's that mindset like nowadays? And like, can you speak on it? Uh, I have the same mindset. It's never going to change. Uh, my mindset is to help the team win, show that we can run the ball, do my assignments, I can block for Shadur. We're going to keep the same mindset. So. we got two more. Go ahead. Micah, obviously back, uh, two-yard touchdown, um, absolutely uh, incredible uh, hearing just like how fans react to that. Um, one, just how did that feel in 
that moment, um, as you may know, like, oh, we're going to the time and get together and that moment. And then two, uh, just, do you think the fans made the right move pre-rushing the field there? Or do you think they did? <laughs> yeah, they did. They I, knew, did. I, knew, I knew it was a fumble, so. Nah, definitely. Yeah, this is my first year playing with Shador, so we did a lot of off-season training, but it ain't nothing like live bullets coming at you. So we got we getting a lot a lot of live bullet reps uh, together, and I just feel like we just we gelling. I mean, if you see at game, we just keep getting better and better. So that's the whole goal: is, is take it day by day, man. Keep getting better and better. All right, thanks, guys. Thanks, appreciate you. Thank you.